Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making my Oreo no bake cheesecake. For this recipe, all you're going to be needing is 18 Oreo cookies. This is going to serve as the base. So I'm just going to crush it up. I'll be using my food processor to grind it. You could use a mortar and pistol, whatever you have, all we need is a fine crumb. So I'm going to put it in my food processor. to be transferring the ground oils into this bowl I'm going to add in three tablespoons of melted butter once I'm going to mix it with the crumb I'm just going to mix it together until we have the consistency of like a wet sand because we want it to be the base for the cheesecake so i'll just keep mixing it together until we have like a wet crumb texture so it's the oreo cookies the ground oreo cookies has been fully combined with the butter So I'm going to transfer this to a spring foam pan. I'll be using an 8 inch spring foam pan. So we're just going to press this down to form a base. Press it down, make it compact. Now our base is ready, I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it chill while we make the cheesecake. So this is going to be going to the fridge or you could put it in the freezer as you please just for about 15 minutes we make the cheesecake. So I'm going to be beating 300 ml of heavy cream, cold heavy cream until it gets to soft peaks. So pour it in my bowl. The heavy cream is cold guys we need to use cold heavy cream because it helps to make it make it whip better so we'll beat this till it gets to soft peaks so it's at the soft peak stage is what we're looking for In another bowl, I'll be adding my cream cheese, 226 gram of room temperature cream cheese. So we have our cream cheese in the bowl. I'll just beat it slightly, just for mixing purposes. Now I'm going to be adding in half a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter of a cup of condensed milk and if you don't have condensed milk at home I have a recipe on how to make condensed milk so you don't have to go to the store to get one So in my bowl we have the cream cheese the condensed milk and the vanilla extract i'm just going to mix it together on medium
and I'll whip them together with my mixer. Uh oh. <laughs> Also scraping the sides in between. So after beating it for about two minutes, we are left with this thick mixture of the cream cheese and whipped cream with condensed milk and light extract. So now I'm just going to break in some of the Oreo cookies into this because that's how I like it so I'm just going to break this into bits so that I can fold it into the cream cheese you can break this how you like you could make it into fine crumbs and fold it by just like chewing bits of the cookies and the cheesecake that's why I'm not breaking it or grinding it to make it fine. Uh, I'm just going to pour it in and fold it. Now I'm going to bring in the spring foam pan that was already that has the base of the Oreos in it. So now this has been chilling for about 20 minutes in the freezer. Now I'm just going to add in my cream cheese. So now we just put it down and try to give an even layer. This dessert is so decadent, so classy. Like if you have guests and you bring it out as dessert, you surely win some hearts with this. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. So we'll just try to give it a smooth surface as possible. But now I'm just going to add in more Oreos on the surface. It's just for aesthetic purposes. You don't have to do that. But since it's an Oreo cheesecake, you can't have enough of Oreos. So I'll just break it in large chunks. You can do it full if you like or half, whatever you like. So it's been about three hours. Uh, cheesecake has been in the freezer so it's time to bring it out this is the moment of truth so I'm just going to go in with a knife and using it from the sides cheesecake is ready the cheesecake is ready and it looks delicious it came out good thank you all for staying to the end of this tutorial if you have gained value from this don't forget to like and leave a comment and if you haven't already subscribed please support me by doing so i'll leave a link in the description box below on my homemade condensed milk tutorial so you don't have to go to the store to get one thanks and see you in my next tutorial bye